So let's talk about nature books for kids. Um, I have enjoyed so many beautiful nature books for children over the last 17 years of homeschooling. And the ones that are my favorite are the ones that have information and really good illustrations and are really age appropriate. Those have been my favorite and I found the most useful. Taryn mentioned last week that I love Jim Arnosky. Um, he wrote all the crinkle root books and he also wrote this book series for younger children. Um, all of Jim Arnosky's books are written for children, but this one is like a very digestible amount of information along with really beautiful illustrations talking about how tiny a baby possum is and then really good information about marsupials um, and then information about how possums ride on the on the mama's back and it's all in this very like digestible chunks and so it's good this is really good for like the three four five six where there's a new picture on every page and they get a lot of really good information there are several books that i own in this series and then i've gotten more from the library these are all these actually came from um, a library sale and you can see there's baby porcupine and black bear baby this one's the cutest in my opinion it's also the most used in our house <laughs> but it's got like all kinds of really great illustrations. And the babies. This is my favorite nature um, read aloud series. It doesn't have nearly as many illustrations as the, sh the um, Jim Arnosky books, but these books are chock full of information. Um, each book is basically a year's worth of whatever the animal is so that so it always begins always begins with the animal being born and then it ends in the next winter when um or the next winter and then spring when they mate up and um, have their first babies and the entire growth pattern of the animal is all um illustrated but with words um it's very clear and concise there are some in this set of books i always recommend six and up because um there is some death the some of the cubs die um, it's very realistic and it doesn't really pull any punches but at the same time at the same time these books are very much like what if a naturalist enjoyed charlotte mason education like it's just they're so living and full and beautiful and they have such a great set of um of information to it we always did a lap book with these so we would do a beaver lap book and then we would read jack the beaver and we would get most of our information from this book what they ate how they lived how they found a mate what their warning signs were what their fur looked like all of that is in here along with a really great story about a baby animal and the last of my favorites is on this shelf where I keep all of my nests <laughs> and all of my used bird eggs. And I've got a hummingbird's nest right here. And just, these are all of my sweet little nature things. And these are all, these are some of my very, very, very favorite books. But the one that is most applicable to this one is the Burgess Bird Book for Children. Hold on. So this was published in 1919. It was at the end of Charlotte Mason's life, but there are a couple of times where she does refer to it. Um, I also have The Lives of the Hunted, which is one that she personally recommended. So this book is by Thornton Burgess, and it doesn't have many pictures, um, but each set up, like each chapter, which is only a few pages long, like some of them are only one page long. Um, each chapter has a different bird and it's in a very conversational style. It's actually a rabbit um, that is telling the story that is kind of the, not the narrator, but like the guide. Um, and the rabbit goes through and meets Jilly, um, Jenny Wren, Bully the English Sparrow, Chippy the Chipping Sparrow, Sweet Voice of Vesper Sparrows, like just um, the Vesper Sparrows, that part's really cute. Anyway. Um, so it's a rabbit that meets these creatures 
And some of them, like if you get, a, if you're really lucky like I was and you find a hardback version of this, the illustrations are just unbelievable. Like they're so beautiful. Um, but you can get this off of Amazon in a black and white um, copy and they don't have these color illustrations. But some of these, I mean, if you can find an original, oh, let me see if I can find another picture. If you can find an original, like it's just such an unbelievably beautiful book.